Hi everyone, here is an example of finding the area and perimeter of a portion of a circle. Here's our example. We've got a circle with a radius of four inches and there is a portion of it missing. There's um, one fourth of the circle missing. So we're gonna be finding three fourths of the area. Starting with the formula, area equals pi, r squared. Looking at this circle, we've got a radius of four inches, so we're going to use that for, for r. So a equals 3.14 times four squared. Okay. So remember using of our order of operations, we're going to square four first, so we get area equals 3.14 times 16. Then we just need to multiply and we get 50.24. That would be if the circle was complete. But in this case, we have three fourths of a circle. You can see that one quarter of the circle is taken out. There's a couple ways you can do this. Um, you could divide 50.24 by four and then multiply by three. Or we can do that in one step. We can multiply 50.24 times 3 fourths to get the completed answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have A equals 3 fourths times 50.24. I'm going to go ahead and throw it over 1 on that just to make it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and divide across. I get 3 times 50.4, which gives me 150.72. Divide that by 4. And our area is 37.68. Don't forget your units. We've got inches squared. Okay, let's go ahead and do the perimeter of the shape. Normally we would call it a circumference, but in this case we have a little bit of perimeter that comes outside of the circle. These two edges here are now going to be part of our perimeter. So let's go ahead and do that part. Okay, so moving on to the perimeter. Let's start with our circumference formula. So there's a couple ways to write this. Um, my preferred way would be the circumference times the diameter. You could also do 2 pi r, but let's do circumference times diameter. In this case, since our radius is 4, our diameter would be 8. So our circumference would be 3.14 times 8. And that's our diameter. So if this were a full circle, we would get 25.12 inches. But because we only have three-fourths of the circle, this outside this black line only goes three-fourths of the way, we're going to do the same thing by finding three-fourths of that length. So I have three-fourths times 25.12. So I'm put that over one. We're going to go ahead and calculate that. I get... 75.36 over 4, which then gives me 18.84. But don't forget, we're not done because we only included the black outline of that circle. Now that the shape has that cut out, we've got the two lengths here. Since this is 4 and this is 4, we're going to go ahead and add 8 to our final answer. So I have the total circumference, actually the perimeter is going to equal 18.84 plus 8. We're going to add 8 whole inches. So the perimeter is 26.84 inches long. 